Welcome to another hot episode of Derange. I'm your host, Dr. Derange himself. It's time. Derange time. Let's get to it. Here's what I got for y'all today. The last time, this looked a little different. Today, we went from, I think we had 50 feet of pipe in the last one, to this time, we have 130 foot of pipe. So we've over doubled what we had before. If you look in the background, you can see we also put a big loop in this time. So. Let me show y'all what you're gonna be in for today. So here's what we got. We got this long stretch here. We're gonna come back and it's pretty long, pretty long. We're gonna go up and it's gonna loop up there, but it's gonna loop, it's gonna come down. It's gonna come back around, go back up. And then it comes off over here and it loops down when it loops down, it's running into this one right here. So, as you can see, here on Dr. D Range's channel, we're trying some crazy stuff, some new stuff, some different stuff. This right here is part two of the last episode. If you didn't watch the last episode, shame on you. But if you did, I hope you liked it. What I need all y'all to do right now is go right down here to the bottom. Click on that subscribe button. I need some subscribers. When you get through with that subscribe button, go right over here. And hit that like, that thumbs up button. I need those. It helps my algorithm. Either way, let's get to it. All right, here we go. You see how big this loop is? Not real small. Actually pretty tall. Now, I'm not sure. We're gonna have an issue at the top. But maybe we can get by. Maybe we can do this. Maybe we can make this work for you. In case you didn't know, it's hot as crap. We're gonna start back out today. Winchester, full metal jacket, 45. In the same Rock Island Armory, 45. So, if you also haven't noticed, I pay attention to what y'all say. Have somebody say something to me. Try to put a coupling right here for this muzzle blast. I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's still gonna blow that all to crap. But, I'm willing to try it. You never know. Let's see, this is gonna be dangerous to everybody. Whatever you do, let me do this. Don't try this at home. I'm gonna go on and tell you. I'm gonna be hiding behind this table here. That ain't much, it ain't nothing. But there's no telling where this bullet can go. All right, here we go. I will tell y'all, pretty sure that worked. Just so you can see. That held up from the muzzle blast. So you can also see, we got this big loop. I'm still not too sure about it. But, if you look right here. Now I'm gonna go and tell you, that bullet came out. But it didn't have a lot to it when it came out. There's not a lot of, not a lot of uh, paint missing from right there. I did hear it hit. I don't see it on the ground anywhere there, but still looking, on, I still don't see it on the ground. But, hey, that worked. Now, this time, let's try a nine millimeter. So 
Sorry about the wind. Wind's blowing. It ain't working though. I'm still hot. Let's try this nine millimeter. Let's see what this nine millimeter does. All right, we're gonna be shooting this M&P shield, nine millimeter, full metal jacket, nine millimeter bullet. So let's see what we can do with this one. Like I said, it's hot, hot, but we got a lot of ripples and stuff in it. But here we go. I heard that one hit. Let's look at this. Let's look at what happened this time. Right there. And we blew the whole side out. I'm pretty sure that was on this attempt. Yeah, because we did it right there too. So that was a nine millimeter. Hmm. Versus a 45. And it got it in a couple spots. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Alright, let's walk down here. Let's see what we got down here. Our pipe looks to still be semi intact. I heard it hit, so I know it hit it. And you can see it right there. It just made a little, very little dimple in it. Not a whole lot. So pretty much, we've killed these rounds at 130 feet. And you got to take into account. So we left that gun. We come down this right here. All right, now it's got to travel uphill where it goes all the way to the top and then it drops all the way to the bottom and has to have enough energy to get all the way back up here again and then go and then it's got to drop and come out so it's hitting the target i do believe we'll try it again here in a minute but i do believe i don't believe we would have enough to bust anything on the end of this however we're gonna put something on the end of this one and see if we can bust it i don't know any of this pipe at the end is gonna hold up to it but we're gonna try it so, just in case y'all didn't see it before, the coupling in it held up at the end. That last round, or that, yeah, that last round, that's where it blew out at. Like strawberry wine. All right, so, you saw what we put down there on the end. I'm going back with the nine millimeter shield. First shot, see if we can bust that can that's on the end. Probably not. I'm going to say there weren't enough to bust it. I am going to say there's probably enough to catch it. But we'll see. We're going to blow this pipe out again. But we'll see what happens there. If we don't blow it out with that, we're going to switch to the 45. All right. Going hot. Ready? That came out with a lot more velocity that time. You know what they say? Give me one margarita. No, nah, we ain't going there. Let me get out here and let's see this damage. Let's look right here too. No damage. Huh. Maybe the pipe only can hold so much. Yeah, I heard this one when it hit. That did a pretty good number on the uh, can and it hit the target. Whew, that smells rank. Woo! Yeah, let me see it went all the way through. All right. We gonna do foul loco. All right, so we got that foul loco up there. We're gonna shoot this 45 one more time. See if it's got enough velocity. Could be something that one of them stronger than the other going down there. That nine the first time didn't sound like it had a lot to it. The second time it went slam through that. All right, here we go. We're gonna blow some pipe out. I see air in it anyhow. Here we go. I don't know where that bullet went. Yeah, I say this one here. Should probably come out the side somewhere. Alright. 
One time. Here we go. Saw it. Saw that come out too. Yep. All right. So that was another successful test. 130 foot of pipe looped. We'll get you down here right fast and let you observe the damage, the other damage. I'm watching this pipe as I'm coming down. I don't see any other any other damages to the pipe. I don't see anything. I don't know how in the world it's rolling around there, but it definitely came down here. And definitely busted that one open. As you can see, and I heard I even heard it hit here. I don't know where it hit. But you can see that's where it went through at right there. You can see that in the can. Either way, the more you know, the further you go. That was today's episode. Next episode. Got a little bit more science for you. We're going to start bringing you these videos every week for as long as we can. We do need some sponsors. You want to sponsor us? Email me at drange, D-R-A-N-G-E, 411 at gmail.com. That's drange411 at gmail.com. Please, if you watched this video and you liked it or didn't like it, please hit a little thumbs up at the bottom. Please, if you're watching this video, I need subscribers. I'm trying to do this for y'all. It costs a lot of money. And I'm not making any money up here. But until the next time, peace.